MC uh, the partnership between uh, uh, civil society and the local authority. Natural power, when they go to Europe, what they are dreaming for doesn't materialize immediately. But because they went with high expectations, and those expectations are not just shared by they themselves, but the people that are in Ghana here, they find it difficult to come back and say, oh, it's not as rosy as we thought it was. So they remain there and they struggle living, if you like, inhumane lives. So we said, look, let's see how we can support local authorities and society to make sure these young guys can find something doing here. If they realize that they can make an income here in Ghana, why would they need to go to Europe? Uh, I think that it was very good. The people were really open and participating actively. They were listening and taking keen interest. And for me, it is a sign that the partners are really interested in the project. And that could be a very good uh, sound grounds to start a project. We are seeing a lot of commitment uh, and uh, willing uh, of uh, doing. So I would like to, to say that uh, knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. Unemployment, especially among the youth, is quite high. And uh, unfortunately, most of them in their effort to resolve this problem uh, resort to migration. And uh, a lot of them have experiences that they wouldn't even want to talk about. Going through the desert and uh, uh, going on the Mediterranean Sea, a number of them perishing on their way and it's quite a bad one. In my district, they have decided to come together uh, to form an association. They voluntarily want to educate um, our people, particularly the youth, who would want to embark on that. That is why I say that it is in line with the effort we are making in Doma East Center. We are very happy to be part of this program. And majority of the youth that migrate are from the Brown and Afu region, especially from Nkransa. But even though uh, you people are doing well, mm -hmm. you are doing well to uh, let the youth know that it's not easy out there so that they can find something to do. And even you people are educating the youth not to migrate, you are also training them in agriculture, at least to give them some skills. And I believe that if you have skills, it is better because that one you can do something for yourself and earn money. In Ghana, in general, the young people have, like everybody else in the world, have great aspirations. And especially in the Bunahafu region, there are not much opportunities. So the young people here are always looking for opportunities. They are hardworking, they are very dedicated and mostly honest. But what they need is the opportunities to, to work, to have something decent. They have great aspirations and they are hardworking, which is more important because they are not lazy. If they find a job, they will like to work. <laughs>